The B-21 Raider will surely be a historic plane, based on the success of the B-2 Spirit. America's new stealth bomber is a needed weapon of war to deter China and Russia. Below we present the latest news on the B-21. The US Air Force plans to take a prudent amount of time developing the technology and testing the new B-21 Raider. The stealth bomber is meeting acquisition milestones and keeping on schedule and budget. That's why if this process is deemed satisfactory in the future, the rate of production could speed up. Air Force Brass acknowledges there could be hiccups in the development process, but so far no serious problems have emerged. U.S. Senator Tom Cotton from Arkansas even says the program has been exquisitely run. Air Force Acquisition Chief Lieutenant General Duke Z. Richardson told the Senate Armed Services Committee on May 17 that speed with discipline is our mantra on that program we're moving as swiftly as we feel it's prudent to do. Once we get further along in the system verification process we should then look at accelerating the buy, he said, but Richardson added that speedier production will not happen in the early stages of the program. The B-21 is supposed to make its first flight in 2023. Northrop Grumman has six B-21s in various stages of assembly at Northrop Grumman's Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. The Air Force is planting $20 billion into the B-21 program through FY 2027. Research and development costs will add another $12 billion to the total. At this time, the Air Force is planning to make 100 next-generation B-21s. But this could change as the service branch and Congress might adjust the program because of longer lead times and greater expense due to inflation and supply chain issues. There could also be fewer airplanes built, depending on the extent to which other manned and unmanned aircraft work with the B-21's family of systems approach. The B-21 is a conventional and nuclear-capable bomber. The plan is for the B-21 and B-52 to handle long-range strike missions while the B-1 and B-2 bombers get gradually replaced. The B-21 will better evade enemy radar and sensors. It will fire standoff cruise missiles, drop precision guided bombs, and will likely launch hypersonic weapons. The airplane will be manned with an unmanned option in later years of assembly. There are plans for at least one drone to fly with the B-21 and a loyal wingman concept in which the unmanned airplane uses artificial intelligence to conduct targeting while also collecting intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance data. The B-21 is in the early stages of production, and this is a time when designers and engineers carefully poke and prod the bomber for any flaws. Typically, this takes longer than when an airplane goes into serial production. It's a good sign that there are no bumps along the road as acquisition leaders have said, but that could change. The Air Force is preparing for any schedule slip and Congress will be steadfastly watching for budget problems. This means the Air Force and Northrop could order more airplanes to speed up procurement as long as there aren't any early technical problems. Much will depend on that maiden flight next year to see how well the airplane performs in testing. Full-scale manufacturing will not likely take place until 2026. Thanks for watching.